content. Writing stories and putting together graphics to depict a very strong brand is something that comes naturally to me. I'm a huge Adobe Suite user and I have a bit of an artistic bent to me. I've never been strong at analytics, so measuring the effectiveness of the content I create has always been of a challenge for me. I'm a strong believer that good marketing teams always consist of a creative type and a logical type. But more often than not, a marketer is going to find themselves in the position of being alone where they have to perform all facets of digital marketing themselves. Business owners, especially small business owners, have to wear many hats to see their business grow. If they find that hat too big of a fit, then they really need to find somebody with those specific talents to hire in their next position. Well, this really depends on the type of business. If you are selling a large suite of products and have a large catalog, then you really need to nail down your e-commerce and your SEO, your search engine optimization. If you're a service-oriented company, then you need to focus on content creation and telling a story about your brand. And if you're developing an app, then you need to have a really good user experience on your website, and you need to use paid advertising to try and push people to download your app. We've seen a lot of recent technology geared towards voice commands. Alexa, Siri, home automation, uh, motor vehicle automation have all made it easier for us to perform tasks or have those tasks performed for us. I think we'll see some technology that listens for voice commands and either through an audible reply or a series of images will provide answers for us. It'll be very useful with on-the-go mobile shopping. Otherwise, I think we'll begin seeing shorter snippets of content. Brands have been using TikTok, uh, traditionally a personable entertainment app, to get the message out about their brands. Well, marketing is always developing new ways to reach customers. Entrepreneurs should be able to embrace their nimble position and use technology wherever possible. Digital marketing has made it easier for smaller companies to gain a foothold in a larger arena, especially with pay-per-click advertising. So for small companies that may not have the budget for large-scale advertising campaigns, they can be a little bit more clever about their target audience and their placement. Gain as much customer insight as possible. Get out the door and perform small sprints of market research. Use this data to help form your identity, but stay true to your origins. Really, any time's a great time to be an entrepreneur. The key is finding a need that needs to be met and then thinking creatively and divergently on how you can best meet that need. This is precisely why we created the Beyond program at Cedarville, to help students build their startup business while they're still enrolled in school. Starting a business has been traditionally thought of as risky, but there are actually many reasons why it's a good time to start a business while you're still in school. One, the opportunity cost will never be lower. Think of it, in your 30s, you will have a nice job, maybe raise a family. And to move away from that comfortable lifestyle to start an idea is going to be pretty expensive. Number two, there are many campus resources like 3D printers, fabrication shops, computer labs, and most importantly, cheap labor. Number three, side-by-side -side learning. The Beyond program at Cedarville has a 15 credit entrepreneurship minor taught by accredited faculty which focuses on innovative concepts. These academics work in concert with a true startup experience to gain greater success. Number four, if you do choose to enroll in the Beyond program at Cedarville University, we are building a robust investor network that will allow eligible candidates to have access to funding. The Beyond Angel Network is made up of Christian innovators and investors who are looking for faith-based businesses to back. For more information, you can visit www.cedarville.edu forward slash beyond.